Okay, in yesterday's video we talked about uh, Caterpillar and how I came up with a setup via the weekly and the daily charts. The weekly information was, you know, where we found the symmetry with some of these, you know, prior declines and projected it from the most recent high and we found some potential support at the 159, 11 to 46 area. And then if you looked at the um, daily chart, there was also a cluster of price relationships between 158.18 to 159.22. Now, if that low is any good, which, you know, I don't know for sure. I mean, not all of these setups are going to play out. But if it is, the potential upside target for any of the trend trade setups is always the 1272 extension of the swing into the zone, which means the potential upside target is 177 even. So I went over some of that already yesterday. But today, I want to show you that um, so far, We've seen the aggressive swing trade trigger, which is the 15 minute chart trigger. We have not seen a trigger yet on the 30 minute chart because even though you did take out a prior swing high, you didn't have the moving average crossover to the upside. But here on a 15 minute chart, if that's what your trading plan uses, uh, the aggressive swing trade trigger, you would have been triggered into the trade today. Okay, so let's say if you weren't yet triggered into it um, and you wanted to look at another possible entry you can look at the pullback okay and the pullback is just being set up by running the retracement of the prior low to high swing and then 100 percent of this prior decline so another area if you did want to look at it if you're not already in it um, is this 161.79 to 162.41 area so that's another place to potentially enter and you can define risk either uh, for example, underneath this swing low or underneath this swing low, okay? Depends on how you've written up your trading plan. But bottom line, we've at least seen the aggressive swing trade trigger in CAT. And I do have to make sure, though, that I put in my stop either, you know, underneath this prior swing low, this one, or underneath the low end of the zone, which would be that um, underneath the 158 area, because obviously not all the trade setups are going to play out okay so you need to know when you're um, you should exit the trade you know if it doesn't play out the way you expect 